Yo, what up gamers, it's your boy Dino, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial here on the channel. In today's video, I've got something that I haven't posted before on my channel at all. Um, I've just got around to doing this glitch, um, I find it very, very difficult to do it, so I thought I'd do some testing before I did this glitch and post it out. But it is straightforward and really easy. This glitch is time consuming and it is only for the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4, okay? So you will require a save wizard for this one and a domo line fucking save in the description. So all you want to go ahead and do before you do start up this glitch is go to your internet connection and you want to set up a internet connection. Now you want to do it as a customs, okay? So go ahead and select the um, internet that you are using or currently using is completely fine. Everything is fine until the very, very end. We need to go ahead and slow down our internet speed, okay? So IP address, automatic, Everything automatic, DNS automatic, MPU, you want to go to manual. Now, inside here, I recommend putting it to three, uh, 630, which is a lot better. That will slow your internet down by a lot. It's what you'll need with this glitch because it is time consuming. It is quite hard to hit. You won't hit it the first time. If you do, you're a god. And uh, yeah. So, you want to go ahead and do is test your connection. Make sure you're connected to the um, servers on the PlayStation 4. And then go ahead from there. When you've done that is load up your save now i will have a save provided below um, for the actual thumbnail car itself with the yankton plates peyote um, smoke and stuff like that so what we're going to go ahead and do is put a usb in put it onto your computer load it onto your save with it load it back onto your playstation 4 or playstation 5. from there host up the gta uh, when the female does disappear from the actual screen, you want to go ahead and hold L1 and R1 until you get the calibration set in the screen. Now I keep holding L1 and R1, um, I'll speed it up a little bit for you until we get to the calibration screen, and then from there you can actually go ahead and let go of the L1 and R1, okay? This is really important you do this, otherwise it's some sort of weird, weird thing that you won't be able to do the glitch if you don't do it. So make sure you do it every time, okay? All right, so what I seem to do as well when we get the calibration screen, when we're back into a single player session, you will spawn if you're using the same save as I am as Trevor. I'm gonna speed it up so you're not waiting around. Um, when you do spawn in, what I seem to do, which always helps in case you get an auto save, which the auto save will be on, is go to click start, go to settings, and you wanna go ahead and turn the auto save off just like so. From there, hold down your D pad and select Franklin. Now from this point on, I will slow down a lot of this gameplay for you guys. It's a little bit confusing, I get that, but you will be have no problem to be able to do this after about an hour of learning it. Trust me, I was up all night last night trying to do this. I did it for like an hour, hour and a half with my mate Tom, and I got it down eventually. So when you load into the single player session as Franklin, you should be eating some chips or anything like that, or crisps. Uh, you want to go ahead and run towards your door. Now Lester will call you in a moment in seconds. All you want to go ahead and do is click from here, is spam circle to decline a, uh, the phone call. From there, do the cop cheat, which I'll leave below in the description, and then from here, run out and get into your buffalo. Now, when you're inside Franklin's car, literally drive down to the police, get as close as you can, and this is where I'll slow down the gameplay. So from here, you want to hold the options of start button on your controller and walk towards the police. As soon as you see your hands raise in the air, all you want to go ahead and do is click start or let go of the start button, go straight to an online tab and you want to go straight down to the choose character section. Alright, so I'll speed that game out a little bit. Go straight down to the online tab, straight down to the choose character section. When you chose character, you want to go ahead and click your PSM button as soon as you can, go straight to your TV and video, go to Netflix or YouTube, something that will suspend your application, and you want to go ahead and accept all alerts. Okay, so that will suspend your application now. From there, you will head back over to GTA 5. You'll see an alert screen for a second. From there, go back to your PSN and join someone on your friends list. Okay, so really fast. I'll slow it down for you, but you need to do this really, really, really fast. Okay, so Netflix, spend application, back onto the game, join your friend. Now once you've joined your friend, you'll be on the alert screen right here. You want to wait for 15 seconds, so count 1, 2, 3, all the way to 15. And then when you have 
eventually got to the count of 15, you want to go ahead and accept this alert. From that point on, when you do accept this alert, you'll get more, many more alerts. Just go ahead and accept them all. Um, accept all alerts is completely fine. When you go into the sky, you'll get another alert in a second. You want to go ahead and accept it, okay? You see now it's just fading out just like so. This should be happening with you guys. So set all alerts. It should fade out. You'll get another alert. Accept it. It's completely fine. Once you've accepted it, click your PSM button and you want to go ahead and join that friend again, okay? So all alerts. Let's make sure you set all alerts. You'll get a GTA joining session at the bottom right. Uh, from here, click the PSM button on PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 and join that friend again inside of your friends list it's really really important in the bottom right you will have joining online session details as well to find out if you have hit the glitch first time when you do this when you join that friend you will get an alert screen okay so when you've got that alert screen do not click it whatever you do let it disappear it will disappear after like 10 seconds or so so I repeat that I repeat it again do not decline or accept this alert, it will disappear. If you have done it correctly, when you look at the bottom right hand corner, it should say G joining GTA 5 online, okay, or joining GTA online. If it doesn't say that, the glitch hasn't worked for you, you need to do it again. Alright, so eventually you will load into Trevor. If you're waiting in the sky for a little bit longer, go ahead and join your friend again, and then accept all alerts, and it should be sound, okay? So you see I was loading for too long. I'm going to join him again and then disappears with the loading screen and teleports me to Trevor. Now, when you are Trevor, you will get two alert screens. The first alert screen, wait two seconds before accepting it. So, alert screen on the screen, wait two, one, two, accept, accept. Interaction menu, straight to direct mode. All right. When you're in director mode, you've pretty much done the glitch now. It's pretty straightforward. You can't mess up from here. All you want to go ahead and do is go to enter director mode, as you see me here from the trailer, to director mode. When you're inside there, you want to bring up your interaction menu and you want to go to the um, selection screen of uh, garages, okay? So I'm loading in now. I'm in. I'm going to go to garage. I want to bring the car that I want to use, okay? There's all different cars in here for using my save. Completely fine. You can pick one. Once you've picked one, you'll get a black screen for a couple of seconds. Your car should teleport in. Okay, so from here, this part is really important as well. Make sure you literally next to the car. You want to go ahead and close your interaction menu, reopen it, hover over quit direct mode. Now, do not quit direct mode, whatever you do. It's really important you do these steps. Otherwise, the car will not save and not come online. All right. So now it might take like a minute, 45 seconds. We are going to wait for our cash in the top right corner of our screen to go ahead and pop up, okay? I'll zoom in when it does pop up, just to show you guys what I mean. If you keep looking at the right hand side of the corner of my screen right now, you'll see it says direct mode. In a couple of seconds, it'll come up with some cash. There we go. There's the cash right there. All we've got to do now is wait for it to disappear. Once we have, we want to go ahead and click on expedite mode. Now, you want to set on this alert, okay? Now, your friend who is sitting in the title of a job... Um, or you get the car for you wants to go ahead and join your session now I'll bring up his POV as well okay so the bottom right corner is my POV all right and this is my friend sitting in the title of a job now so he doesn't get kicked from a session so all he wants to go ahead and do from here is you go ahead and tell him you're on the alert screen he wants to go ahead and back out of that mission he wants to go to click start he wants to go to friends and he wants to go ahead and join friends okay it's really important does that all right so I'm now going to tell him that I actually am on the alert screen. He's then going to quit the mission. And then he's going to go ahead and join me when he's in an online session. Alright, pretty straightforward. Whatever you do, if you are on direct mode, do not come off his alert screen until your friend has actually quit the mission and got into the vehicle, okay? Really important. Alright, so he's joined my session. Alright, you can see the car in front of him. He's going to run over to it. He's going to get inside the vehicle and he's just going to sit there. When he's inside the vehicle, he's going to tell you. You can then exit direct mode. So he's telling me now that he's inside the vehicle. I'm still on my alert screen, which is completely fine. 
So now I'm going to decline it. And go ahead and be frozen. And then I'm going to quit my application just like so. From there, I'm going to load onto my network settings, put it back to where it was normally. So automatic, everything automatic. Um, because otherwise you will not be able to go into the online, you'll be lagging too much and so forth and so on. So it's really important you put your internet settings back to what it was, okay? Really important you do that. All right, so I'm testing my connection now to see if it is actually worthy to go on back online. It should be all right. So the first one, it does fail because it's just reconnected again back to my internet. So let's retest your internet again if it doesn't work for you, which is completely fine, and it will turn your internet back on. Anyways, once you've tested your connection, uh, you can just go back in onto GTA Online, uh, get your friend to invite you, go to his session, and the car would be there. And from there, you need to go ahead and do the gift cards, friends glitch, and get yourself that vehicle. Pretty straightforward. Also, make sure you do delete the save off your out off your account, sorry, because you will load in and it will. You won't be able to load into online without joining someone, which is quite annoying. So delete those, load up GTA. All right, so I'm gonna skip through this part now. You guys don't need to see me loading into GTA. I'm gonna skip to the very, very end and you'll see me load into my friend's session with the vehicle right next to him. Pretty straightforward, guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to go and drop a like. If it's confusing to you, please, please contact me on Twitter or anything like that. I will help you out with this one, as my friend did Tom with me. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy game, man. So here's the car. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn those notos on, and I will see you all in the very, very next one. New give cards to friends glitches on the channel right now, guys, so make sure you be able to get on it and do your thing. All right, guys, have a lovely one. I'll see you all soon. Peace out.